Hello, it's Howard Rheingold. Attention, Earthlings, do not panic. The Martian Bureau of Investigation is preempting normal Earthling programming for the next 30 minutes. Maintain consciousness and stay tuned. Earth, the green planet, planet of mystery, has always fascinated Martians. We have marveled at these Earthlings from afar, astounded at their audacity, their cruelty, their humor. Finally, we had to send someone down there for a closer look. The Martian Bureau of Investigation selected Howard K. Martian, Jr., intrepid operative, spy and scholar, extraterrestrial anthropologist extraordinaire. Wherever Martian science leads me, there I will go. This is Howard K. Martian Sr. and Howard K. Martian Jr. coming to you from distant, mysterious planet Earth and the vast cosmic studios of the Martian Bureau of Investigation. Well, Jr., what's up down there? A very mixed Earthling bag this time. Everything from androids to alcohol. We're going to watch how Earthlings repair themselves, how they relax, and even take a peek at their metabolic processes. Uh, let me explain a little bit about where we are now. This is uh, planet Earth. It's a little ball of rock rotating in space, getting energy from, as I said before, the primary, the sun. Uh, small energy devices all over the surface of the Earth, known as plants, uh, convert this energy into uh, little chemicals inside there. Apparently, millions of Earthling years ago, so many of these plants uh, lived and died that they created great pools of uh, substance known as oil. And some millions of years later, other Earthlings uh, found a way to dig wells and get that oil out of there. And they used this oil to create industries all over the planet, to uh, which uh, created uh, consumer goods such as automobiles, things we see uh, traveling all over making smoke in the sky. So you have a lot of smoke in the sky and a lot of this oil being used uh, for energy. Well, apparently we've arrived on this planet just as the oil has run out and the Earthlings are trying to think of a more sane way of doing things. So here today, we're at the Energy Research and Development Administration, whatever that may be. And they have a, a demonstration here on what they actually sh should have started doing in the first place. And that's utilizing the sun's energy directly to uh, power this weird thing known as Earthling civilization. So here we have the solar laboratory. Those collectors you see on the roof there collect radiant energy and store it in liquid inside. It's used to heat and uh, cool the place. Over uh, which is powered not from millions of uh, dead dinosaurs, but from the sun's energy. Only eight minutes ago, that energy was in the sun just boiling away and uh, now it's here in this solar laboratory. There's one uh, curious thing I noticed over here at the beginning of our little investigation that I'd like to follow up. And that's uh, this, this wire here. Many of our extragalactic viewers may not know what these things are. It's a power line, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, apparently this completely self-contained solar house is uh, somehow connected with something else typical Earthling way of doing things. It uh, winds over uh, there and eventually winds up in what looks to be an Earthling power plant. So I don't know what the purpose of this all is, but uh, apparently the self-contained solar uh, development laboratory is, uh, is plugged in to the wall. We interrupt this interruption to announce an all-planet bulletin. A dangerous criminal lunatic known only as Howard K. Martian Sr., alias Howard K. Martian Jr., is still at large. This devious, perverted genius and his shadowy crime syndicate, the so-called MBI, continue to elude justice. <laughs> 